Hi, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial, I want to share with you how to find newly released uh, Unicode emoji um, puny code so that you can create or register uh, an emoji domain. And so one of the first places that you'll need to look is unicode.org, which is the, the uh, Unicode um, consortium. And so here, uh, the Unicode consortium, basically it enables people around the world to use computers in any language. And so um, ultimately what that means, you have what's called international internationalized domain names or IDNs, uh, which um, emoji domains fall under. And so one of the things is uh, Unicode. So Unicode is responsible um, for basically uh, either enabling or disabling or allowing or not allowing um, versions of emoji characters. So that means existing emoji characters as well as new emoji characters. And so one of the things that you'll, how you'll use this site is you can come here, go to search. And I know that the um, current version is Unicode um, version 11 type that in click search and then there it shows you the emoji chart and then uh, you can actually retrieve the emoji list or full emoji list um, we'll go full emoji list just to show you and so this is version 11 um, and so it includes all of the emojis now if you only want uh, we'll go back here if you only want the emoji list for um, you know just the current uh, version 11 then you can go here and then it basically just has the sample as well as just the keywords that are there um, and so these are all of the emojis in version 11 now that being said if let's say that you want it to um, you know, only look at what's been recently added for um, the emoji of version 11. So not all emoji, but only what's been added or what's new. You go there, um, you click that link, the emoji recently added link, and then it brings you to this page, which shows um, the emoji samples, um, what their short name and keywords are, and then it also links to the proposal, but then uh, more importantly, it links to what's called this code. Um, and this is Unicode code points. So think of this as the uh, unique identifier for given emoji. That being said, one of the things that you can do is take this uh, Unicode code point and um, actually convert it to um, Punicode. And so Punicode, basically it's, it's uh, Unicode that is uh, convert it to ASCII characters. So um, in short, think about, hey, we take this code and we turn it into an X in dash dash whatever. So for instance, if we were to take this code here and let's just say we copied, we copied the code and make sure I get that copy. I want the link. So I'm just going to Command C or Control C to copy. And then I'm going to open up a new tab and go to xn dash dash domain dot net. xn dash dash domain dot net. And so you can see here, this is basically um, an IDN. And so that's what the domain looks like, but this is the ASCII compatible. To that so when you see this this is what you're really looking at that being said we take those code points and we can come here and we can paste a code point and then it gives us the puny code which is here and then you know essentially if you wanted to all you have to do is type in that xn um, dash dash dot wx and then you know from there you could then take it and go over to like godaddy or dot ws or dot to though dot to and dot ws or emoji um, they allow emoji extensions or extensions that allow emoji domains um, but you could take what i have highlighted here and if it's dot to um, or dot ws you could copy that but the main thing is that 
how to get um, the emoji name because in for instance right now as I'm recording this the um, the recently added emojis haven't been added yet to um, you know the iOS so they, they haven't been added to platforms like iOS um, to phones or any of that so if you wanted to try to get an early jump it's easier to when they release these um, Unicode uh, whenever they release the upcoming emoji for Unicode then you can as long as you have the code point you can go over to xn dash dash domain dot net stick in that code point and then um, it'll basically give you the puny code it won't give you the xn dash dash part you'll need to write that in now that's one way to do it now I want to show you another way which is going over to emojipedia e m o j i p e d i a dot org and so if we go to emojipedia you can see here they have first look all 150 plus emojis for 2018 now they keep up if you scroll to this is their home page so you could actually search emojipedia by name or by emoji itself um, they also have a little video there that you can see the latest and greatest but they also so emojipedia they actually cover the emoji versions um, and the unicode versions so if we look at the unicode version when they list them obviously these haven't been released yet and so therefore you're unable to see the actual emoji so you know when we were over here at the recently added under the unicode um, consortium um, site you can see they actually have samples but these samples are only images that being said they show you the images here on unicode but not so much on um, the emojipedia site that being said what you can do is if we wanted to try to register the smiling face you could then come in copy and then pull up punycoder.com and then essentially paste that in and you can put .ws on the end of it if you want to or whatever um, emoji domain extension you like to use uh, you can't use .com or .net those aren't allowed just due to um, the IDN uh, a um, IDN a 2008 uh, which basically prohibits .com .net some of the legacy uh, extensions from um, allowing emoji domains nevertheless I would just use dot WS or dot to stick it in there and then when you convert it then you can see it's JS9H now if we go back here what you'll see is that same code point produced that JS9H on the xn dash dash domain dot net site and so that being said you could essentially come to emojipedia copy that emoji and then paste it into the text side and then convert it into um, the puny code and then from there you can visit sites like website.ws to register .ws emoji domains or register to or register dot to um, to register dot to emoji names and so needless to say those are two methods uh, that you could actually use like I said you could use the um, Unicode emoji recently added and whatever the version is and as long as you have the code point then you can go over to xn dash dash domain stick in that code point there it'll give you the puny code you'll just need to remember to add the xn dash dash to the uh, front of it and the um, the uh, emoji domain extension that you'll be using and then the second way is just essentially going over to emojipedia copying or rather finding the one that you're wanting to uh, purchase copy that paste it into the tech side of uh, puny coder or puny code converter and then convert it and then you take that domain and um, register it and so I know some people are wondering because you know you think that you have to wait until the emoji are actually released to devices um, and so the answer to that is no you don't you just have to be quick in terms of when Unicode puts out you know or releases the 
um, the next batch of emoji in their code points. You just need to be the first one to be able to get the code point and then go convert it to a puny code address. Um, or rather convert it to puny code and then go and register it as an emoji domain address. So I hope this video helps. I know it's a little bit long winded, but I want to make sure that you get the concept of how you go about turning Unicode, the code points into puny code. And so I've given you two unique ways um, to do that via XN, um, xn dash dash domain dot net as well as emojipedia.org and so please let me know if you have questions or comments leave them below the video as well feel free to uh, subscribe to our youtube channel and last but not least visit kickstartcommerce.com uh, to receive the latest search marketing and domain name investing strategies to grow your business um, thanks for watching and that's all for now